Hi, I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine, and well, I'm sitting in one of my favorite things I have, my little easy-go vehicle that we use around our place here outside of Joplin, Missouri. The thought crossed my mind that we're not the only people who use little vehicles like this, and an integral part of what we do out here is to sort of control the varmints and, you know, the feral animals that tend to make life miserable on our chickens and things like that. And part of what we do is that we always make sure we have a 22 rifle secured in our vehicles. We have this easy go, we have an ATV. If I'm out on the tractor, I always have some kind of a firearm on my tractor. And I thought it might be interesting for you to see how we do it. And it also will let you think a little bit about safely transporting firearms, not just in your truck, but if you have an ATV or some kind of an easy go or gator kind of a vehicle, it'll get you thinking about maybe what you should be doing. You know, let's start with our easy go here. When we first moved here, I tried everything. Leather scabbards lashed to the roll bar, zippered cases kept in the back, but none of them were really convenient and I was never comfortable with the way they carried the guns. One day I was in a local a farm supply store and I looked down and there in front of me was the was the solution to my problem and it was a twenty dollar kit to mount a rifle or a shotgun. Let me show you what I've got here. It's a two-piece assembly. It's got a base that you just screw into the deck somewhere and then it's got a little angled piece here that you can secure to a dashboard or or even another, another brace and it works very simply. You just rotate this lever and your gun comes out. I went ahead and put in some extra padding here because it happens to ride on the side of this old Stevens 22. But you can see that it keeps it secure and quick at hand if you need it. It's a little hard on the gun, so I wouldn't recommend that you keep your really nice rifle. Uh, we tend to use $75 or use 22 rifles around here. here. You've seen we've got the 22 rifle on the easy go. Well, we also have a big old tractor, a John Deere. His name's Spartacus, by the way. Forgive his uh, appearance right now. He's been working hard the last few days. I was always a little challenged trying to figure out how to carry a, a handgun on the tractor. And uh, I was at a gun show one time and I saw an old flap holster made by Uncle Mike's and it dawned on me. I thought, you know, I may have just solved my problem. So all I did was I just uh, zip tied it with these heavy duty zip ties to the roll bar. It's got a flap which helps to protect the gun from a lot of dust and grit. I actually settled on a Taurus Judge. Uh, this is the big three and a half inch Magnum one. And what I do is I carry it with three 410 rounds and a couple of 45 Colts. And what I found it's really effective for popping a field rat or something like that from the tractor. And, uh, but you have a couple of 45 Colt rounds in case that there's a coyote bothering the chickens or something like that. I found this to be pretty effective. I know one of our riders, Hamilton Bowen, also has a tractor. He lives in the country. And oh, what he's done is he's built a very clever rack where he keeps small bore single shot rifle. And I just started looking around and I thought, you know, I'm, I'm afraid a 22 would be underfoot here. Remember, you don't always have to spend a lot of money to solve a problem. I think this holster cost me $5. Be innovative, think outside of the box, but remember to always be safe. Make sure whatever you use secures the firearm safely. And if you're climbing around the tractor or shooting guns or something, keep the four firearm safety rules in effect. That way you don't shoot Spartacus the tractor or your neighbor's dog in the foot. You know, another most used piece of equipment we have out here is this Honda ATV. And the same thing applied, though. I was wondering, how am I going to carry a 22 with me? And uh, lo and behold, at the local Honda dealer, I found this great setup here. And it bolts to the front rack, and it just really holds just about anything you want here. A shotgun, a rifle, even a bow. It's got these little rubber elastic things that hold it on. It's very secure. This is an old Remington uh, Nylon 66, and what we do is I carry it with a tube feed loaded, but a chamber empty. And to remind everyone, it says there, a chamber is empty, and you have to cock the bolt to arm the rifle. So we're always very careful with these kind of things, and you need to remember that if you've got rifles like this on vehicles, especially if you're out in the range or the woods and you're having a good time or you're working hard, you're not always thinking clearly. So remember the four firearm safety rules, and you'll hear me stress them again and again and again. You know, please remember, 
if you do have some property, if you do have utility vehicles, there's, I think it's a good idea to have at least a 22 rifle or something with you, but keep your wits about you when you do that. Make sure you secure them safely. Make sure you carry them with the chambers empty. Make sure everyone who's associated with the vehicles and the guns understands about the safety involved. Just be careful because it is a deadly weapon, even though it's a 22. And I know you're out working and having a good time. So, hey, I'm Roy Huntington. Thanks for tuning in.